The watery landscape doesn't seem to have altered much for millennia. The great river Neen forever meandering its way across the Cambridgeshire Fens. Where the landscape has changed, where they've slashed into the earth to make a quarry, we know that a tributary of the great river once flowed. And where the white tent is, there was once an ancient settlement at the water's edge. For the last 10 months, this tent has been home to an extraordinary archaeological dig, transforming our knowledge of our distant ancestors, how they lived, how they thrived in the Bronze Age, and how, in this case, disaster struck one summer's day some 3,000 years ago. There was a fire. The wooden buildings collapsed into the river along with all their contents, everything entombed in the river silt. Earlier in the dig, back in January, you could clearly make out the architecture of the houses. Bronze Age man built in the round, using oak and other woods, wattle and daub and reed. They've excavated five roundhouses in total and believe there may have been nine or ten. It's unique. We've never had this kind of preservation anywhere in the British Bronze Age or in broader British prehistory before. It allows you a sense of immediacy a sense of contact with the deep past. It gives us, in a sense, an unadulterated pageant of life in the Bronze Age. They found over 50 pots, a dozen or so per roundhouse. Some still have food inside, a porridge of some kind. I think I found a landscape. I think I found a landscape that has a, a, a story and it's, it's a landscape that hasn't been described before or hasn't been visited before. I think it's a landscape that's still out there and that we're the first people to explore it. These are axe heads used for cutting wood. They've recovered five of them. One of the things that's really nice about the metalwork on this site is it comes out the ground still shiny. So a lot of times when you find bronze, unusual to find bronze but when you do it's green and it's a bit kind of rusty but um, the bronze we get here is still shiny and still looks really clean and crisp and almost like new. This is also true of the five spearheads they found. It is absolutely pristine, um, the edges are sharp, the point, the tip is sharp, the socket is absolutely clean and it's still got its peg in there to keep the the, 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 the haft in place. These were sophisticated Bronze Age settlers. They weaved their own textiles, some of it of the finest linen. They acquired decorative beads of glass, amber and jet, quite possibly from Syria or Turkey. By far the greatest percentage of artefacts are wood, mostly oak and ash, the building timbers. And by analysing these, they hope to establish how the fire started. Initial research seems to suggest that it was started deliberately. Nick Glass, CNN, in the Cambridge Fens.